Hi, today I want to share with you our latest co-op haul. We belong to a neighborhood produce co-op that shops at the local farmers market in Birmingham, Alabama two times a month. The Birmingham Farmers Market is a huge agricultural hub that consists of both local farmers and commercial wholesalers. Many of your packaged items will have come from commercial wholesalers and most of the loose items probably came from farmers. We try to get as much from the local farmers as possible but sometimes we have to fill the baskets with a few other things. For instance, these sweet uh, pimento peppers. We got two bags of those this time. Great for soups. I freeze them as well so that I have them all year long. You see so many other good things. We have these delicious tomatoes. They are from a local farmer. Fine ripened and fresh. Great advantage to being a part of a co-op is you get fresh in-season fruits and vegetables like these sweet potatoes, these Greek peppers, these delicious muscadines. Now they came from Georgia and are in season at this time. We have a cantaloupe, probably one of the last of the season. We may get one more. This squash looks absolutely fabulous. I cannot wait to make squash casserole and squash with tomatoes and onions. It's just delicious. We have some more peppers here. Delicious plums that are coming into season. Cucumbers that are going to be great for making what we call refrigerator pickles around here. We slice them up and put them in the refrigerator with some vinegar and garlic and serve them as a side. It's really good. Here are some blueberries and I'm sure these were brought in from another area. Our blueberries played out about a month and a half ago. Fresh apples and those are locally grown. I've not seen potatoes like this before. They're individually wrapped and it says you can put them in the microwave as they are. I will probably unwrap them, wash them, and cook them in the oven or make them as mashed potatoes or something like I usually do. We have zucchini right here to the right. I think it will be very good. If you've not tried it, Pinterest has a crusted Parmesan chicken recipe that you cook with zucchini that is absolutely incredible. And that is how this is going to be cooked, or some of it. There's a lot of zucchini there. I may make some bread as well. Well, this is our haul for this time. This will last us over two weeks. Uh, we have an empty nest now, and I'm not cooking quite as much. A co-op is a great way to economize and still get those fruits and vegetables all year long if you like. Down below I'll have a link to a blog post on how to start a co-op or how to look for one. And if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe on your way out. Thanks for stopping by!